What's your name and spelling, please? Tim Summers. T I M S O N M E R S. Tim, uh, tonight, Wednesday night at seven o'clock, you're having a city council member come and speak with you. Correct. Uh, about what? Uh, we're not quite sure what she's going to speak about, but she's going to speak to us. Uh, I have a feeling it has to do with just uh, hopefully support. <laughs> so. Is this the first time an elected official has come down to your encampment? Yes, definitely. And you plan on doing what tomorrow morning? Uh, tomorrow morning we plan on going to the city council meeting. Um, we have a proposal that we've been working on. Uh, it's, it's it's a pretty extensive proposal, so we're hoping we can get that in front of the city council, and hopefully they can, if they choose that it's important enough, they can rush the agenda and put it on the agenda, and then we we'll have an answer in a week of whether what they're answering our proposal. So, after that, what is your, what do you, what do you want from the city council? We want to park. It's not safe to be sleeping outside on the sidewalk. It's not safe for us to be sleeping in the rain. So we've complied all the way up to this point. We showed that we can be peaceful people. There's no reason why they can't just give us a place to peacefully protest and accept that. You know, I understand there's city ordinances and laws, but there's a lot bigger law made by our, <laughs> our the Bill of Rights, our, our rights to protest and our rights to assemble that they need to respect. And I think that we have a lot of support from the city as far as so far. And you mentioned safety on the sidewalk. I saw a pole that was broken. What, how did that happen? <laughs> well, a police officer was parked on the sidewalk and backed up into the pole. But, um, also, safety on the sidewalk, you know, we're out here protesting for things that anyone could be hired by a corporate company or anyone just to come and run us all over, <laughs> you know? And they can't even put us behind the poles. So, so we got to fight for our rights here. we gotta, we got to get some stuff going to where we can we can actually keep this movement going. And they need to recognize it as a worldwide movement and give the city, you know, give the Tampa residents a chance to be a part of it. So.